Have you ever seen a tiny round bug crawling on a leaf or maybe even landing on your hand? Chances are you've met a ladybug. These little insects are some of the most famous and well-loved bugs in the entire world. People everywhere from kids playing in their backyards to grown-up scientists get excited when they spot one. With their bright colors and gentle nature, ladybugs seem like friendly visitors. They don't bite or sting, which is why we feel so comfortable letting them walk across our fingers. They're like tiny living jewels that pop up in our gardens, reminding us how beautiful nature can be, even in its smallest forms. One of the first things you notice about a ladybug is its beautiful shiny shell. Most of the ones we see are a brilliant red or a sunny orange yellow, decorated with small black polka dots. But did you know that not all ladybugs look the same? There are actually over 5,000 different kinds or species of ladybugs all around the globe. Some are black with red spots, some are yellow with black spots, and some don't have any spots at all. This amazing variety makes them fascinating to study. Their bodies are shaped like a little dome, almost like a tiny turtle shell, which helps protect them as they explore the world of plants and flowers. These wonderful insects are known by many different names depending on where you live. In some places they are called lady beetles, because they are a type of beetle, not a true bug. In other parts of the world people call them ladybirds. This name goes way back in history, when farmers in Europe prayed for help to save their crops from pests. When these helpful beetles arrived and ate the pests, the farmers believed they were a gift sent from heaven and named them Our Lady's Birds. No matter what you call them everyone agrees that finding one is a special moment. The spots on a ladybug are not just for decoration, they can sometimes tell you a little bit about the ladybug species. The most common one you might find in your garden is the seven-spotted ladybug, which as you can guess, has seven black dots on its red shell. But their spots don't tell you their age. That's a common myth. A ladybug is born with its spots and keeps the same number its whole life. So next time you see one, take a closer look. Count its spots and admire its unique pattern. You might be looking at a species you've never seen before, a tiny guardian dressed in its own special uniform. Ladybugs are more than just pretty faces, they are one of nature's best pest controllers. This makes them a hero in gardens, parks and farms all over the world. So, what do these little beetles love to eat? Their favorite meal is a tiny, soft-bodied insect called an aphid. Aphids are a huge problem for gardeners because they suck the juice out of plants, causing the leaves to curl up and the flowers to weaken. When a plant is covered in aphids it can get very sick, but then, along comes a ladybug, and it's like a superhero arriving to save the day. A single ladybug can eat thousands of aphids in its lifetime. Imagine a gardener who spends hours trying to keep their roses or vegetable plants healthy. Instead of using chemical sprays that can be harmful to other animals and the environment, they can rely on ladybugs to do the work naturally. Farmers who grow big fields of crops also depend on these tiny helpers. By eating aphids and other small pests like mites and scale insects, ladybugs protect our food supply. They help plants grow strong and healthy so we can have delicious fruits and vegetables to eat. This is why many gardeners and farmers actually buy ladybugs and release them into their fields as a form of natural pest control. The ladybug's appetite for pests is truly incredible. From the moment it hatches, it is a hungry hunter. A ladybug larva, which is the baby stage of a ladybug, looks very different from the adult but is even hungrier. These little alligator-like larvae crawl all over plants searching for aphids to gobble up. A single larva can eat hundreds of aphids before it's ready to change into an adult. This means that throughout their entire lives from baby to grown-up, Ladybugs are on a constant mission to clean up our gardens and protect our plants from harm, working tirelessly from sunrise to sunset. So, the next time you are outside and you see a ladybug, remember how important its job is. It's not just wandering around, it's on patrol. It is searching for its next meal, and in doing so, it is protecting the plants that give us food, clean air, and beauty. These tiny guardians make our world a healthier and more balanced place. By simply living their lives, they provide a huge service to people and to the entire ecosystem. They are a perfect example of how even the smallest creatures can play a very big and important role in nature's grand plan. The life of a ladybug is a fantastic story of transformation, a process called metamorphosis. It's a journey with four very different stages and each one is fascinating. It all begins when a mother ladybug carefully lays her eggs. 
she usually chooses a leaf that has plenty of aphids nearby so her babies will have food as soon as they hatch. The eggs are very small and yellow, and she lays them in a cluster, sometimes with dozens of eggs altogether. She is a smart mother, making sure her children will have the best possible start in life, with a ready-made feast waiting for them. After just a few days the eggs hatch, and out crawls something that looks nothing like a ladybug at all. This is the second stage, called the larva. A ladybug larva is long and spiky and it often looks like a tiny black or gray alligator. You might not even recognize it as a baby ladybug if you saw one. The larva's main job is to eat and grow and it is very, very good at its job. It crawls all over the plant, munching on aphids day and night. As it grows bigger, it sheds its skin several times getting larger with each molt. This eating stage is incredibly important for the ladybug's development. Once the larva has eaten enough and grown to its full size, it's time for the third stage, the pupa. The larva finds a safe spot on a leaf or stem and attaches itself. Then it forms a hard, protective case around its body. Inside this still, quiet shell, one of nature's most amazing miracles is happening. The larva's body is completely changing, rearranging itself into the adult ladybug we all know and love. This stage can last for a week or two. On the outside, it looks like nothing is going on, but inside, the transformation from a spiky crawler into a winged beetle is underway. Finally, the pupa case splits open, and a fully formed adult ladybug emerges. This is the fourth and final stage. When it first comes out, its shell, or elytra, is soft and pale yellow. The ladybug will rest for a few hours while its shell hardens and its famous bright colors and spots appear. Once its wings are ready, the adult ladybug will fly off to find a mate, lay its own eggs, and continue the cycle. And of course it will keep eating aphids, helping gardeners, and continuing its important work as one of nature's tiny guardians. The entire journey from egg to adult is a true marvel of the natural world. For centuries, people all over the world have believed that ladybugs are a sign of good luck. Seeing one is often thought to bring good fortune and having one land on you is considered especially lucky. In many old stories and rhymes, ladybugs are symbols of protection and happiness. Farmers believed that a large number of ladybugs in their fields meant they would have a great harvest and they were right. The ladybugs were eating the pests, which led to healthier crops. This connection between ladybugs and a good harvest helped build their reputation as lucky charms for success and prosperity. But how does such a small and gentle creature protect itself from being eaten by bigger insects, spiders, or birds? Ladybugs have some very clever defense tricks up their tiny sleeves. Their bright red and orange colors are not just for show, they are a warning sign to predators. This is called aposematism. The colors shout, stay away, I taste terrible. Many predators learn that brightly colored insects are often poisonous or taste bad, so they know to avoid eating the ladybug. It's a brilliant strategy that helps them survive without needing to fight or run away fast. If a predator doesn't get the message from the bright colors, the ladybug has another trick. It can release a smelly yellowish fluid from its leg joints. This liquid has a very nasty taste and odor, which is usually enough to make any hungry bird or spider change its mind about having a ladybug for lunch. This defense is called reflex bleeding, and it's a very effective way to make a quick escape. So, while they look sweet and harmless to us, ladybugs are actually very well equipped to take care of themselves in the dangerous world of insects. Ladybugs are truly special creatures full of surprises. Did you know that when they fly, their wings beat incredibly fast? about 85 times every second, and when the weather gets cold, they huddle together in large groups to stay warm, a behavior called overwintering. By understanding their clever defenses, their important job in our gardens and their amazing life journey, we can see that ladybugs are much more than just a lucky symbol. They are hardworking, resilient, and essential parts of our environment. These tiny guardians are a perfect reminder that every creature, no matter how small, has an important role to play on our amazing planet.